Welcome to Garnet Sound Designs. Today we're going to do a live uh, beat making. Uh, no edits, no talking. Uh, we're going to do an ambient style uh, beat. And we're going to show you the whole process. So uh, enjoy. Uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, your comments are always welcome. Uh, I'm using MPC Live 2. And uh, when the uh, beat is done, it'll be available on my uh, BeatStars uh, store. So, uh, as the MPC says, let's go. I'm going to use the ambient, uh, an amb kind of an ambient style of production. And I'm going to use uh, the, the um, Mini Moog Model D pr plug-in that Akai uh, provides. It's a premium uh, plug-in on an Akai MPC Live 2. Uh, it's a premium uh, plug-in, but I've taken all the sounds that I use in a piece and uh, reduced them to key group samples so that um, I can use any number of uh, instruments uh, in my production. There's a limit of 10 instances of a plug-in, I'm, I'm sorry, 8 instances of the build-in plug-ins and um, uh, so the way to get around that is to auto sample. I'll show auto sampling here of uh, one of the instruments. Uh, so just looking at it real quick, it's the uh, it's the Mini D Res Noise, which is one of the percussion uh, samples. So we're going to go into um, the auto sampler here. And select a range of notes for it. That looks pretty good. It'll interpolate all the rest. And then I got to type in a name uh, for the uh, the key group sample. So this is kind of the, the format I've been doing. What group of instruments is it? And uh, oh, let's see. Let's check that name again. Res noise. I usually like to use alternating looping. The note length and the tail is fine. Um, that should get enough notes. Let's tell it to do it. All right, now it's good to test out the uh, uh, the uh, the key group um, instrument and make sure that it sounds similar to the plug-in sounds. So I'm going to hit a few a uh, few notes here on the pads. Oh, and then we need to. We go over to key groups and we have to, of course, select that new one. So you see that's very different. The decay time needs to be set. So we go over here to envelopes, stretch out the decay time to about there. Now we've got a little bit more of a tail on this. Than the actual plug in instrument. Now we can check our beat and try both with the plug in and with our key group to make sure that. The uh, the key group sample still works okay. So this is a previous beat I was working on earlier today, and we'll get to see whether this track is 
generating any notes, I can go here into the, uh, we'll switch to the, the key group. So as we see, the beat sounds pretty similar either way. So now we don't need to rely on this plugin anymore. We can use our key group sample. So here's another one that we need to sample in a in a similar way. So again, this is from the percussion group of instruments. Just checking my list of uh things that I've already sampled to make sure I haven't already uh, sampled that. Okay, so there's also a... So there's a, uh, a cowbellish thing in the uh, metallic group of settings for the Mini-D. one of the problems if you hit just outside those buttons your screen goes away So this is having the plug-in play a series of notes.
All right, so that one's finished. All of the uh, the uh, plugins that it de depended on have now all been turned into key group samples. Now we can take that. Uh, we can easily take that beat and copy it to a new um, <clears throat> copy it to a new sequence and now we can start having a lot of fun changing around the instruments and we can end up with a very different uh, feel for the beat now I've got a pretty good library of sampled uh, uh, mini D uh, you know for this uh, project I want to make everything with sa samples that come from the mini D so we can start it playing and we can start experimenting with trying out different
that little conversation on its own track so that it can use a, a different uh, instrument.
as always, your likes and subscribes are appreciated. Um, in the comments, there's a link to join my mailing list. I encourage you to join my mailing list. I'll have some specials for uh, the people that are on my mailing list. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. We'll do another live tomorrow.